All right, in News 10 and for your health, we want to continue our look at high cholesterol while we wait for that verdict and what we can do about cholesterol. Last week, we talked about what cholesterol is and how it can affect our health. Well, today, our health and fitness consultant, Dr. Mike Ormsby, joins us to talk about what we can do and eat to keep our cholesterol low. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right, one of the big things is eggs. Do eggs really increase my <laughs> cholesterol? Right, yeah. You know, when we th- eggs are, are important because... There's so much controversy, and the research is actually now showing that the dietary cholesterol we take uh, from the egg is not translating into blood cholesterol that we have when we measure it at the doctor's office, if you say. So in other words, eggs are a good thing. Well, they are. There are so many good nutrients inside of an egg. Now, we still have to do it in moderation, so it's really one to two eggs a day, and the research is showing uh, no increase in total cholesterol numbers. Because we used to hear one to two eggs a week, but you're saying one to two a day is all right. That's what the recent research is showing, if you have normal cholesterol levels. Now, if you're someone who already has high levels or have a a family history, a genetic link to it, then you'll want to make sure you cut back. The recommendations are less than 300 milligrams a day for a normal, healthy individual. But if you already have high levels, you want to drop that down to less than 200 milligrams a day. One egg contains roughly 215 milligrams. So you can get an association there. But really, we also make cholesterol internally. And so if you increase your dietary intake, most likely you'll just begin to decrease your natural production and keep everything pretty streamlined. Uh There's just a few people who don't respond like that, and those are the ones we need to really watch the cholesterol intake and usually get some medication for. All right. So eggs, good thing. All right. Well, why is what other foods actually help reduce cholesterol? That was another question. What foods help reduce cholesterol? Uh, I I think the, the biggest thing that people don't really understand is that other types of fats actually help reduce cholesterol. So um, we think of cholesterol as increasing blood cholesterol, but we want to break that link. It's really trans fat and saturated fat which help to increase cholesterol, which we don't want. But the fix is monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats. Like olive oil? Olive oil is a great choice. Walnuts, almonds, peanuts, other forms of nuts, olive oil. Use that, uh, uh, you know, cooking for everything. Cooking on salads, that's a really good option. And you want to eat things that are uh, high in fiber. So we're talking about oatmeal as being a really good way to sort of decrease our uh, cholesterol numbers. We hear oatmeal a day is supposed to be a great thing, right? It sure is. It definitely is. All right. Why is there so much hype about fiber these days? Is it one of those great foods? Well, it is. And we, we hear, you know, we just spoke about it for the cholesterol lowering effects of soluble fiber in particular. But uh, fiber can do a number of other things. So from a weight maintenance and weight loss perspective, it helps keep us full and satiated. And if we're happy and full, then we're like, uh, less likely to eat more and more throughout the day. So that's one good reason. But other health benefits are um, overall gastrointestinal health. So you can help to reduce things like hemorrhoids and diverticulitis, which are some problems that are, are very prevalent. Um, in addition, if you have a lot, of cholesterol, uh, a lot of cholesterol and you take this fiber, you can reduce that. And you can also reduce blood glucose levels and the insulin response you get from it by having uh, a high fiber intake. All right. We're going to have to wrap it up, but we'll keep that all in mind as we go through the holiday right. season. Thank you so much, Thank Dr. Ormsby. And next week, we are going to talk about healthy holiday gifts. And if you have any ideas, we would love to hear from you. Just email us at news10 at 4wten.com.